Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Why have I got that one stuck in the field? Did I return one of those? Oh, no, 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 I put that one on sour skittles, I think, didn't I? I think I did. I don't rightly remember at the moment. Uh, we will bring you over to there, and we will stop, and then we will go to our next vehicles. Let's have a little look round. You are racing back down to the finish line down here, and you've only got 2,600 litres of herbicide left in the tank. I've got minus 31,000 euros now, which is not very helpful. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this over. We've not got very much left to plant. So because we don't have very much left to plant, I'm going to override what we did previously. We're going to go into here, helper, refill, fertilizer, seed, slurry, manure, like that. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that, and not that, and not that. I'm just going to do fertilizer, and I'm going to see. Right. Herbicide counts as fertilizer for the purposes of machineries buying them. And this one, this is why we've got that odd line that went through the middle of our course, is because it comes to this point right here. Right on this piece here. So that's herbicide that we've got going on the field there. Now spraying herbicide on there. And then our course plays over here. That one's obviously slowed down quite a bit. But we haven't got much left on this field at all. And then that's going to be completely finished. You're racing back up that way. You're going... Actually, you are going to run into these other machines, aren't you? That's going... That is, that is going to end up causing us a bit of a problem, isn't it? You're coming around this side. And that one's... That one's working up there. Yeah, that, that herbicide could end up causing us a bit of a problem. You down here could... Uh, let's let's go and give this one a bit of a nudge. We don't technically have to give that one a nudge. He's, he's going to be able to do it. But I'd like to speed it up a little bit so that the herbicide vehicle doesn't come along and wallop into the back of it. And this is the only way we're going to be able to do this is with the helper buying the herbicide. So that is why we are draining money at the rate that we're... And look at the speed that that money is pouring out at the moment. Like that, <laughs> that is a frightening rate that that money is disappearing from our account right there. It is absolutely appalling. I don't think even I can spend money that fast. And I'm pretty good at spending my money if I, if I, if I really set my mind to it. Now let's go and put you up over here. You can pause right there, Mr. Sour. And stop there. And then I want to jump down. So that one's going to be just fine there. He's not going to cause any issues. You are working. Actually, you're almost finished completely. But it's this one over here that I want to have a look at there. What are you doing? Right, you might end up causing us a problem. If you interfere with the case... No, the case planter, you're not going to interfere with that one. So you're definitely not going to cause a problem with that one. And the seed drills should get far enough ahead for those not to get hung up on this one either. So in theory, so long as that case doesn't try to come along in front of us here, he shouldn't do because this one's traveling faster. Uh, he's going to avoid all of them. That one has now come to a complete halt. All folded up and everything. And this one is doing just fine. And it's just managing to avoid the sprayer as well. Which is great. So we got every we got everything is, is kind of working along quite nicely here. So you're done. And then you over here, you're coming out and you're about to reach your trigger end point as well. And that one will fold up. And it was, it did just, well, there we go. It's, he's reached his end point And he does the whole folding process. And I should really like the folding process. Uh, the way he comes, he, he, he just comes out like there. He's pushing the tractor forward. And yeah, that's, that's not entirely realistic, the way that it's doing that. 
Um, but the way that this machine sort of lifts up and folds up in sections, I don't know, there's something quite cool about watching that in action. You know, there, there was something very cool about watching that in action. So I'm going to stop that driver right there and I'm going to clear that current course. And then I'm going to drive this one over here. So that is all done there. Going to drive this one out over this edge. Now these three items here are all leased. So I don't actually need to do anything with them. I'm going to park you there. And then I'm going to go back through that one there. We can just leave it go planting. Uh, we can go to this one. And I will stop driver, clear that course, start that one up, and drive it out this way. So that one's out of the way. It's going to be out of the way of the sprayer, which is working over there. And then we've just got the case quad track to come through and finish doing all of its stuff. Uh, the two John Deere tractors, we'll send those back now. They're, they'll be returned along with these two seed drills. Not returning the seed drills yet, though, because I may accidentally return the one that's attached to the case. So I'll just leave everything parked there for a minute. And we go over to you. And this is where it is actually going to run into it, isn't it? You're going to drive right into each other, and course play doesn't have the intelligence to figure out that there's another course driving. So it just sort of smashes into each other and pays no attention whatsoever. Yeah, we, we, we'd expect that. That's, that's exactly what we'd expect from course play. We wouldn't, we wouldn't expect it to be able to figure out anything complicated. Now, you're going to, you're going up round there a little bit, and you're coming up there just missed by the sprayer. However, because of where we've gone now, the sprayer is going to come back round. Oh, no, it might actually, because the sprayer is on a slightly different angle. So this one, he's got two passes left to do right here. And then the sprayer is going at that angle. So this one could actually go down the other side of where the sprayer is going. The time he gets up to the other end. And they will miss each other. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Okay, he is actually going to miss the sprayer. So long as the sprayer can get up and turn around in a reasonable amount of time, they should miss each other completely. That's what I'm hoping. Go on. You come up through. There we go. That one started and it's away already. So this one's got to come down here. And then he he's on lift late. So he, he will drive out a little bit further before he lifts and turns. Excellent. Right. He's going to go all the way down to there. The, the sprayer is well away. The sprayer is well away from that one. That's a, that's a good thing. That is a really good thing. So let's just quickly scoot back through this. Take a look here. Is that last little strip there. Now, this is going to be the next problem. Is are we going to be able to... No, we're not. I don't think we are. So I will go back to that one there. And go over to here. Because the sprayer's got to come back down through again. So we're going to need to probably just stop this vehicle here. Before that sprayer comes all the way up through. Because I don't think they're going to be able to get past each other without causing any issues. It's nice to see those little tiny patch of weeds right there. It's nice to see that one sprayed off. But they are going to get past each other. <laughs> Only just. But they are going <laughs> to... Look at that. That That was actually quite impressive. That was like poetry in motion right there. That, that was actually pretty good. And then we want to skip through over to this side and... There's not really a lot left now, is there? There's a couple passes here, but that case is going to cause a bit of a problem with it. I'll go back to it. Uh, over to here. And I've got... What have I actually got left to do on this? I'm looking back through what is left on here, and it looks like we go up there... We sort of do a bit. So if I go here a minute and I say stop me, is he going to actually stop anything? Is Oh, no, no, no. Is, is he... Right, I, I will stop driver there. I'm going to clear the course completely. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to start this one up. 
here. If you could just wait there a second. Yeah, he, he is actually going to wait. He's, he's, he's saying that he's in traffic. Uh, I want to go there and that one started. I want to lower that one down. Then start driving. Okay, so it recognizes the front machine, but it doesn't recognize the trailer on the back of this. I just wanted to pick up that little bit that was there on the edge of the field. What I want to do here, I want to just increase my overall speed right there. And then I will manually just go and take out this little corner over here. And then there's another bit up there, I think, that was left that I want to deal with. I got the sprayer chasing me pretty fast, so I want to also get through that one. Just start that one. I know I missed a little tiny bit right there, but honestly, I, I don't think that particularly matters. And then there's this corner up here. Now, the combines will actually go right out to the corner, and they will gather it. So I could go over here, just start this one up like this, and bring it right out round the edge there and cover that corner. So that I get that bit taken out completely. Just to make that cover over there. And then we haven't got that. At least there's one corner there that we have gotten rid of. And I'm, yeah, I was, I was, I was like, the, the corners have bugged me. The, the corners have bugged me all the way through. So I've got no course loaded on here at all. We are folding this one up. I'm actually going to try and do this one properly. And keep it dragging forward while I'm folding. And then it folds up like that. And it does... I, I like the look of this thing as it's starting to fold up. I think it does look very cool. Huge great big section of machinery there that's folding up. Right, so that's now done. If I jump out of you a moment like this. I've got the sprayer working over there. And he's got a little tiny bit up that side. I'm going to... What are you doing? You're not doing anything. Uh, I want to jump on to the sprayer a second so that we can just see that... What's it doing up here? Uh... Oh, I know what it's doing. I'm going to need to go to you and get out of the way. As quickly as I can. Let's just bring that one up round there so that it is out of the way of the sprayer. Because what the sprayer is going to do now is it's going to run down across the field. It's going to get down to over here. So we've got like a little tiny strip there of field that hasn't properly been done. Yeah, there's a little, couple of little strips just there. I don't know why they are out like that. That looks a little bit peculiar. I don't think it's anything to do with you. I don't know what that is. That's just, it could just be a bug with something, you know, it, it not quite showing up properly. I mean, you can see it over on the field over there. If I jump over onto the sprayer a minute, it's still got the same pattern over here. So there's something a little bit strange going on with that one. Now, this is going to drive us up the hill up here until it's, it's right there. You can see it. it's just now branching off there, going across the field over there. That's where this one is heading next, and that's sort of going to be the rest of the field that it's going to go and do. We should have all weed taken care of on this field. Now, there are a... There's no weed patches that I can see on the field at the moment, but I have previously seen weed patches on the field, so I'm... What are you doing? Uh... I'm... Not entirely sure what that is all about, but... I'm sure there's a logical explanation to it. We have had... Course play... We've had all sorts of strange things happen with the sprayer previously, so nothing surprises me a great deal with it anymore. It just kind of seems par for the course for the most part. 
All right. Well, it's it's, it's doing something. So we'll, we'll just we'll just say that it's it's doing something, and we're quite happy there. So we've got a whole load of machinery over that side. I'm not going to do this while I'm sat in that one, just in case it does anything weird and bugs it. So then I'm going to go to the garage in here. We're going to go to our least items in here, and I am going to return that one and that one. And the three seed drills as well. Now, these three are loaded up with a whole load of seed, which is a rather expensive proposition. They've also got fertilizer, and I kind of wanted some fertilizer to use over there. So I'm wondering if I should dump the stuff out on the ground. But if I do, I'm never going to be able to move. It's just going to it's just going to cause problems. So I'll, I'll just return them, and I won't do anything else with them. So there, those are gone. We've gotten rid of them, and the seed that was in them, we're not going to get any refunds or anything like that for them. They are just done and dusted. So now I'm back to just having the case quad track over here. I'm going to drive that one back to the farm. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to drive that back to the farm from here. That's just going to take too long. So we will go over there like that and I'll reset. That one's going to jump to the shop, which is considerably closer where is the the shop over there is considerably closer to the farm than the other bit so we we can leave that one like that 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 will be absolutely fine but why have we got a little tiny bit missing there that's what i don't get because if we go to this it's planted everything all the way through we got we got full planting now right the way through and we've got freshly planted on there so I, I, don't, I don't really know what that's all about, but uh, the next thing that we need to do, I can now start going faster in time. We probably will we'll clean these off first, though. I'm, I'm not going to clean everything, but I will clean this one off. This one is absolutely lagged in filth. We'll make sure that the animals are fed, and then we can start fast-forwarding time a little bit and advance a day or two so that we can get a bit of fertilizer on the field. We were doing lime. We're not interested in that. We want fertilizer. So I need to be able to sell some milk from the cows in order to generate enough income to get our money up above zero so that I can buy some fertilizer and put it into the spreaders, and then we can use the hired help buying the fertilizer and we won't have any issues with that whatsoever. And that's then one coat of fertilizer, at least. Is all we... Well, I'd say that's all we're actually going to need, is one coat of fertilizer. That's most of the field is going to have two coats or three... Well, actually, it's... Um, you, you look at it here. We, we, we go to grow soil composition here. Most of the field is actually going to have three coats on it. There's going to be this big chunk here in the middle. that will only have two coats, but I think that's fine. I don't think it's going to be a... We, we just sort of... You know, we, we can always say that there was a, a bit of a drought or that bit just didn't perform as well. Disease come in through, something like that. There's a hundred reasons why you'd have one chunk of a field perform more poorly than another chunk of a field. Anybody that has ever done any farming knows all about that. So I'm, I, I'm not thinking of that sort of straying from realism in any way. I want to go in here and I want to check on you guys. We've got some total mixed ration in there. The Actually, the pigs are fine. I don't think we need to worry about giving them anything else. I do want to change this over, but I don't know where I want to go and dump the lime that I'm carting around. I suppose, actually, we could just use that fertilizer spreader in there and do a single course with that fertilizer spreader in there. But I've still got to wait for a day. I still got to wait before I can actually get that onto the field. So I'll leave you. Well, I suppose actually. No, I didn't want that one. I don't want that one. I want. No, I don't want you either. I did want that one. Right. Let's go back then. It's you that I want. Because I want to put you onto that trailer over there. And I want to be able to move stuff around. So the lime spreader here. This one I'm going to go and put into the shed. And then I can go and get the other one. Put that one on. And we can use that one to get everything sorted out. I will back you here into the shed like this. Carefully does it. Carefully does it a little bit more. And we will unhitch that one right there. Then we can whiz down over this way. We can go and grab that vehicle right there. That vehicle, that trailer right there. There we go. And that's going to allow me to put in just enough stuff. Why isn't this one... 
Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna need some silage in there. Right. We need. We we, we need to load in some. So we got we got the silage down over that way. I need I need to put some silage across so that I can do the total mix ration. I've already used up all of the total mix ration that we've got. So if I very quickly do this. We've got one trailer load here that we can put in and tip that 90,000 litres of silage in. Then I can get the silage trailer loading again. And by the morning, we will have more total mixed ration mixed up, which is what we're going to need. So let's tip that lot in there. By morning, we will have more mixed up. We'll have enough to do a trailer load. So don't think we're going to have enough to do a trailer load this evening. I mean, we might have takes a minute for this to run into us. There's a lot in here. 90,000 litres in here is, is pretty good. I don't think we... You know, I don't think that's too bad at all, really, 90k. Dribble you out like that. And that one is done. So then I can bring this one back round and I will load in another full load of silage into this trailer. I will just leave that one loading from our silage silo right on there. And drop that one there and then if I come back over to this side I can set this one loading that should be yeah okay we have you know, got 50,000 litres in there by the time this one loads up that's going to be fine as well so if I start you loading there start and I go and look over to this side like this I've got 50 odd thousand in there and it's climbing so that one should be a full trailer by the morning the sprayer is going to work overnight we are going to go and skip the night right now, and then we can come back to it and keep going again. So let's go to there, and go to there, and we will skip the night as much as we possibly can. What are we on now? We've gone day four on mid-spring, so we're going to be going day five will be late spring. So that should be when we've got our first growth stage. I don't think we're going to have a growth stage now, although does it change over? I'm not really sure. I've got... A couple of little patches of weeds there. It's like some of this is not properly registering, although I've actually been over it with the sprayer. Why are you not being taken as a treatment unless the sprayer went over it and then it planted afterwards? And that's why it's gone and done this. It could be that the sprayer going over it first and then plant. Yes, of course. The sprayer goes over it first with the weed killer. It just doesn't count. But quite why it's left it with no fertilizer on there, I don't really know. That bit doesn't make any sense to me. Why there's no fertilizer. But there's definitely some sort of slight bug there with the herbicide being applied and the rest of it working. So I, I don't know what that's about. But there there is something a little bit strange going on with it. So now you here, 80,000, I can go and take that and we've got a bit more feed in that machine there as well. I'll go and tip this in for the cows. How are we doing with the cows, by the way? Alt S in here, cows, we've, we're doing all right. So we, we can sort of fast forward until we get to uh, early evening at least. And then we'll just make sure that we've got the animals full. And that's also going to give me a chance to get a bit more money accumulating there. Although I don't need to go and sell the stuff today. It's tomorrow that we're going to want to really sell everything. We've got 130 odd thousand litres of milk there at the moment. So I'll start that tipping so that we've got some food coming in. And then I will go to here and I will go OK like that. 300,000 euros from milk, which is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I don't mind if I have 300,000 from milk. That's actually, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. I'd say that was a pretty good result, all things considered. So now we can go whizzing over this side. To, whoa, 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 what have I got? I got 43,000 there. And had like 80-odd thousand before. So I'm not quite sure what the ratios of feeds going into this are. We put 90,000 in. I took 80,000 out and then... Wait, we seem to be using a lot of silage. There seems to be a lot of silage being used. Right, I used 
I mean, we've got... Oh, I've still got 28,000 litres of silage in here. So it, it is actually still mixing some of it up. I was beginning to... Th I was thinking that maybe it didn't have, like, the right ratios in there and it, it had gone a little bit strange. But no, it does actually seem to be acceptable at the moment. It does seem to be like it's... It, it does seem like it's going to be all right. Uh, you keep going. You, uh... Yeah, well, you're, you're just going to stay there for a minute. And I want to go to... Not you. No, no. There's, there's a particular tractor that I'm... Where, where's my tractor? Oh, I just went past it. There. Right, this is the one that I'm looking for. And... Oh. Here. I got no straw left in the pigs. And we've not got a huge amount of food. Food for the cows is actually doing all right. We haven't got, right, we haven't got any problems there. Estimated food required 2 million litres. And cows themselves were on 413 cows, which is pretty good. I mean, maximum number of cows that we can have is uh, 450. So 413 cows now, that's, that's pretty good going. And we have sold a few. We'll be able to sell a few more. Make a little bit more cash out of them if we need to. I mean, it's mid-spring now, so we... we we're going to be pushing on next for getting our harvest done. That's that's our next big thing that we want to do is our harvest. We've got the sprayer working at the moment. We're going to put a little bit of fertilizer on the field as well. And none of the rest of that is particularly big jobs that we need to do. We just kind of need to keep fast forwarding time as rapidly as we can so that we can get to harvest time. Harvest time is going to be the last big thing that we need to do and it's keeping up with the harvesters that we're going to have in the field now we've got two combines at the moment and i was thinking of getting a third combine so that we run three combines in the field and we will do a course play course we will try and do that with course play try and have it so that they are working three of them in the field together uh, but not quite sure how i'm going to do that uh, whether i set them Use the convoy setting. I don't know if the convoy setting is actually the one that I want to be using or not. But we will see. Right, I better just slow time down to one times a minute just while I run around and feed the pigs a second. Um, and then we can fast forward again. Herbicide should hopefully, hopefully be finished by tomorrow. Right, I don't want to right click on that at all. I want to go here. Wait, have you got a course loaded? You shouldn't have anything loaded. Right, now, load here, barley, start. I load up some barley in there. Let's go and have a look into here. Where are you? You are up over this side. That's what this is, where we sprayed before the seed drills got there. That's the bit where it went a little bit wrong. That's why it went a little bit wrong, because we sprayed before the seed drills, and then that's done something. It's like it put a negative amount of fertilizer down or something. I have no clue. I don't know what is going on with that. Uh, Courseplay has decided to drive into the trees again. Because why not? Why drive... Like, seriously, why drive into the trees? Courseplay. It's wonderful, everybody says. They, they keep telling me that Courseplay is absolutely amazing. It's wonderful. You can't go wrong with Courseplay. And yet, Courseplay keeps on driving into trees. It's all it seems to do is drive into trees. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But what we'll do is we, we will use the course play for three combines going around the fields because everybody is wanting me to try and just, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm dedicating this series to you. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.